record-setting field of 1,018 players. We are now down to these six. All right, the Andes will start at 10,000, blind 60 at 120,000. Winner going to take home close to a million dollars. The cards are flying. Action on Keith Crowder, the real estate investor out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And we've got four guys in their 20s at this final table, all six making their first WPT final table appearance. Oh, well, Keith quickly folding. The accountant, Jeremy Brown, also folding. Chip leader, Olivier Bousquet, out as well. Now we're around to the complete short stack. Can he win? He lays down as well. So it's a battle of the blinds here. Action's on Ivan Mamusic. He's the youngest player at the table, a student out of Canada. 300. And he's got a king three, and he's going to move it up to 300,000 to go. Cool. And Yannick Broder taking no time there. He quickly calls with a pair of threes. We got a pot. Uh, flop comes a 7 6 with two hearts. Helps neither player. Ivan Mamusic raised before mm. the flop. Will he make the continuation bet? It looks like he's doing it. 400. 400,000. Wow. Boldly played there by Ivan Mamusic. And it's going to work. So Ivan Mamusic. Oh, it's bad luck to win the first one. Sings the first tune here tonight. Well done. You know, he's a cash game player. Came up here to play cash games. Didn't want to play the tournament. And it entered late. And he checks out every night. He says, I'm leaving. I'm not going to do that well. So I've checked out in the morning. But then he's continued. He's made the final table. Yeah, every day goes farther. He can afford to pay that hotel bill. All right. Quick action. Jeremy Brown, quick fold. The chip leader, Olivier, now with a 8-7. Nothing fancy. He goes out. Now around to the short stack again. Uh -oh. And I mean short stack, folks. Here we go. Second hand in the tournament. You really want to bust that fast? He's got a little over 500,000. All right. It's neither play with you guys. And I'm short stack. I'm all in. Look at this. Ah. He's going to push it in there. Well, he's happy go lucky. <laughs> he's shipping him in here. I think goes out. I don't blame you, Vince. But here's the trouble now. How much is it? A small blonde Yannick Broder with a six of spades. Yannick's got about 5.4 million in chips. Can easily afford to make this call. Have a good hand? I have a very good hand, man. Keeps, keeps the baton around for a little bit. Four the hang one down. Oh, you'd love that, <laughs> wouldn't you? You gonna show? Yeah, i show you. He's yeah. a very likable guy. Very personable. All right, four. Oh, and I'm surprised that the poker pro Yannick Broder goes out there with an a six suited. <sighs> you have to know that the short stack is going to move in oh, with any dude. two cards. How much more is it? But the real estate sweat, guy, sweat. Keith Crowder, though, is going to make him sweat. I have a good hand. He's got just a queen deuce of spades. How good is your hand, Antoine? It can hurt you, Keith. I have a good hand. Oh, he's such a liar. you got to love this guy with the big smile, the he's short stack, the pushing it around like that. Well, Keith is actually in fifth chip position himself, so he doesn't have that many yeah. chips. We can afford to give away a half a million of them. Can he win? Would love to take this right now. Bluffing right, his way on this hand, and it's going to work. Thank you, thank you. Well, Kenny says thank you, and why not? I saw it. Oh, he shows him a 9 7 of clubs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you won. Can he win the short stack? Hanging in there by dental floss. Going to take down that pot. Wow, man. That is unbelievable. I knew I should have I should have took you out. They're bluffing at Brigada, and it's working. Stay with us here on the world. In the short stack right there, even though he just picked up a set of blinds and annies. Good for okay, good for for Simba Thwan. Says he's always a happy guy, man. I mean, he is a fun guy. No more, no more gifts for you. I like having him at the table. Well, the happy-go-lucky here tonight so far. Well, let's go down to the felt. Olivia Bousquet, look at this hand. He's picked up a pair of kings. Well, he's really the happy one because he's the really? big chip leader at this table, and now he's picked up a big hand. Yeah. Two kings. Makes it 300,000 to go, but there's trouble because Kenny win behind him with a pair of eights. Well, Vince, when you're on the short stack and you pick up a pair like this, you almost have to go with it. Wow. Civil Pawn is all in again, guys. Well, here we go. He's all in again, he says. Oh, boy. He's going to move it in. Ivan Mamusic going out. As well as Yannick, Keith Crowder, the real estate man, says no. Well, Jerry B. Oh. Brown out as well. Oh. And of course, Olivier making the call. Simba's so running into a brick wall this time. Good natured. Oh. I love his attitude, Vince. I'll say that. Why I have to pick up two eight here? What an opportunity for the heads up specialist, the chip leader, Olivier Bousquet. Eight, 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 eight. Kings up against eights. Well, here we go. Flop is ace, Jack Deuce. No help for Kenny. 
Knows he's gonna have to catch an eighth to win this pot to stay alive. Looking for a snowman. Doesn't happen on the turn as a 10 comes up. Yep. Well, he's gonna have to have an eight ball in the corner pocket or this is gonna be game over for Kenny Win right here. Yep, he needs a miracle. One card to come. Can, can he get lucky? Eight on the river. Oh! No, it's a seven. So that's gonna do it for Super Twan. Kenny Win got in this tournament by winning a $350 satellite. Cashed out pretty good, Vince. Uh, 156,000 for Kenny, the Super Twan. You know, just get attached to this guy. <laughs> you know, just a great attitude. Well, detach yourself, Vance. He's gone. All right, we are down to five players just like that. What you're looking at now is a chart that shows the percentage of chips that each player has. Obviously, with five players left, if you have 20% of the chips, you have an average chip stack. Olivia Bousquet. Our chip leader has nearly twice that size. All right, we're down to five-handed poker. Action going to Jeremy Brown. Jeremy with an ace eight. Now Jeremy graduated from Penn State in accounting. He started playing poker in college. And he's just going to call. Now the heads-up specialist, the chip leader, Olivier Bousquet, now with a king seven, contemplating what to do. Well, he knows he's got chips, he's got power. Wonderful. Well, Olivier's made it 400,000. There you saw Jeremy taking a little drink right there, trying to relax himself here at this final table. And a few quick folds around to Keith Crowder. The oldest player at the table, 39 years old, and he's also going to fold. Back around to Jeremy. He's going to call him with the ace eight. So it's down to the two New Yorkers, the two chip leaders in this pot alone. So here's the flop. Now flop comes king, queen, five with two clubs. Olivier gets lucky, hits the pair of kings. Well, he flopped top pair, and Jeremy quickly checks. Nothing hitting there for him. Olivier Bousquet also going to check. And Olivier is a pro. He's won over two million playing online. Heads up, sit and goes. Wow. And now he's hit his two pair, kings and sevens. Because he checked on the flop, perhaps Jeremy will take a stab at this pot. Most players would, but he's not. Wisely checking here. Yeah, that is a wise check. 525. And he's got to bet the two pair now. Come out of the woods, 525,000. No car Jeremy can catch to win this pot, so anything he puts in the pot right now, just say adios to. <coughs> no tricks for Jeremy. He's going to fold his hand. Olivier Bousquet, very successful online poker pro, plays about a thousand heads up sit and goes a month. Those are heads up tournaments. Does very well. I take a butt heavy. Well, very bright guy. Graduated yeah. from Cornell as a philosophy major. Now just plays poker. Okay, a quick fold by Olivier Bousquet. Now music also going out. And now it is a round to the poker professional out of Montreal, Yannick Broder. 27 years old. He's got just a four deuce this time. And well, he's going to raise it. A position raise, as we say. Raising on the button here. Hope the blinds throw their hand away where he can steal the pot. But Keith Crowder, who always looks like he's about to play the hand, but then folds again. And Jeremy has the ace three of diamonds. Again, he's going to call the raise. Flop comes up. Oh, what a dream flop for Jeremy. It's come eight, seven, four with two diamonds. He's got top pair and the nut flush draw. Quickly checks. And he's going to get Yannick to bet. Just his measly pair of fours. Looks like 350,000. Well, he did flop bottom pair. His opponent did check. He made a continuation bet, but got called. Probably not liking it. Now a nine comes off. Jeremy again going to check. Throwing the rope. And Yannick. Here's his girlfriend, Claudia, in the audience, sweating her man. Yannick is going to bet 625000 this time. Well, it's just hoping that perhaps Jeremy has middle pair and would throw it away with a bet or just has a flush draw and would throw it away. But unfortunately for Yannick, Jeremy has made the call here. Going to the river, another nine pairs, the nines. Well, he's checked. And I'll tell you one thing, if Yannick fires a big bet here, it's going to be a tough call to make with an ace three. But he does, and he checks. 
Just hopes his opponent's got just a flush draw without the ace, but no. Jeremy's going to take down this pot with aces up. Nicely done. Didn't have to hit the flush. His friends very joyous in the front row. And Jeremy getting another beer. Well, why not? Let's celebrate a little bit here. 100 bottles of beer on the wall here in Atlantic City. We are having fun. Stay with us. We're coming back with more action on the World Poker Tuske. Poker Pro out of New York has nearly 40% of the chips. Winner going to take home close to a million dollars here tonight in Atlantic City. Let's go to the table. Yannick Broder first to act. Poker Pro out of Montreal, Quebec. And he quickly folds his hand. And now the real estate man, Keith Crowder, he's been playing very selectively this evening so far, has a King Jack. Yeah, he's picked up Kojak here, as we say. Two eighty. Makes it 280,000 to go. Jeremy Brown going out. And around to the chip leader. What'd you start the hand with, Keith? 2 7? Yeah, Still 2 7. Yep. And he's in the small blind with just a 9 6 of hearts. Yeah, the kind of hand you like to see flops with, but will you call the raise from a guy who's played pretty tight? Yep. Very tight. I raised. But Olivier's not only going to call, he says raise. Wow. Look at this. Unbelievable. The chip leader coming right over the top. Makes it 1.1 million to go. That music won't play. So it's back around to Keith Crowder. You making a play here? Yes, he is. Hmm? Thought about it a very long time. I like this. Likes to talk at the table. We haven't mixed it up much recently. How about none? I knew eventually he was going to make a play at me. Right. I'll tell you, good poker instincts by Keith here. That's cool. Take it. He's a local grinder here in Borgata. This is home casino, but he's going to lay it down. Take it down, sir. Take it down. Take it down. Well, in poker, you got to follow your instincts many times. A big stack bully. Had have been a good time for Keith to do it. Big stack bully. Big stack bully. <laughs> Can't wait for my double up. And he's starting to be as bitter as a cup of coffee <laughs> at 7 Eleven. He tried to give it to you, didn't call. I, I pick a little bit, little bit better. Wow, this is getting interesting. All right, let's go. My big blind, let's play some poker. Here. Let's play some poker. I'm coming yeah, for let's it. Play some Jeremy poker. Brown looks down at 10 3 hearts. I wish I had something. I'm on yeah, tilt. He won't play that. You're on tilt right now? I'm on tilt already. Here's the bluffer he's himself. My blind already. Gonna raise again with King 10. Poker guys, take care of me. The music is going out. And now Yannick Broder with an eight deuce also oh. folds. Poker guys, take care of me, poker guys. And look at this Keith Crowder talking to himself. First was bad for you. Yeah, we definitely wants to pick up a hand here to come back over the top of him, but doesn't do it. <sighs> Second one is good for you. <laughs> now just a jack eight. You're going to lay it down. King three, wow. one good. And it's all smiles for the chip leader right now, and why not? Well, the interesting thing is Crowder knows where he is. I mean, it's just good poker instincts. They know this guy's going to bully this table, has a lot of chips, but sometimes you can't pull the trigger even though you know a guy's manipulating you. Well, it's a lot easier said than done, I can tell you that, especially when you're playing for nearly a million dollars. All right, on this hand, Keith picks up an ace three in early position. I call. So he's going to just call. Jeremy Brown going out. Olivier out as well this time. But Ivan with an 8-6, also going to call Yannick Broder with a King Jack. Not going to race. Well, Yannick's in the big blind, says give us a flop. So for the first time tonight, we have three-way action. Here comes a flop. The flop has come King, three deuce. Ivan first to act, hits nothing there, and he checks. Well, Yannick has top pair. He's also going to check. But look at this, Keith Crowder with the measly three is going to bet. 200,000. Ivan going out. And Yannick, of course, going to call this. And Yannick and Keith staring down each other here. Look at Keith looking him up. Queen of Clubs comes off. And again, Yannick checks top pair. Keith Crowder, what a 
poker face. Yeah, he says, give us a card here. I like his style here. Oh, it just gets better for Yannick. Two pair now, kings and jacks. Nightmare night here for Keith Crowder on this hand. Well, Yannick's going to reach for chips this time. Well, 350,000. That's the guy that played hockey all of his life, virtually. From the time he was three till the time he was 20. And right now, he's trying to put the puck right between the net. Yeah, you do. And he's got the hand to do it. I don't think we have a king. Not putting him on the king because he checked it Four twice. Hmm. This could get ugly. It does look like he might have a wheel draw or something here, the way he played this hand. Most guys would have checked raise with the king on the flop. He didn't do that. Checked on the turn. I like the way Keith is studying. Not just looks at his face, but he looks at his whole entire body. He's going to look him up. Ooh. Well, Vince, he's looking him up because he thought he might have had a straight draw there. But he didn't raise or bet on the flop or the turn. But unfortunately, his instinct's wrong on that occasion. Trap plays working here at Brigada. Well, that's right, Vance. Borgata is the jewel of Atlantic City. Right now, Olivier Bousquet running over the table with about 12.3 million in chips. This is the largest field ever in WPT history. 1,018 players. We're down to these five. I'm coming for key stack now. Listen, listen, listen. You're going to double me up. I'm not going to double you up. Well, I'm just going to take your chips. I'm going to felt you and right, take right, your right. chips over here. Double me up. I can't wait to felt you. <laughs> all right, to the table we go. A quick full by Jeremy Olivier Bousquet, our chip leader, also going out. In my blind, too. It's probably going to happen next hand. Around to Ivan. He's going to raise it on the button with a queen nine offsuit. Makes it 300,000 to go, but look at this in the small blind. Uh oh. Yannick has picked up two kings. This is the poker pro out of Canada. Got the kings. Do you just call? Do you play it slow? Try to trap? Or do you push now? Now, Vince, the guy's a hockey player all his life, so he's going to put the slap shot on him right here for over 1.1 million. Yep, makes the big raise, puts up the sweatshirt over his mouth like he does every time he's in a hand. And now the real estate guy, Keith, tilting away, goes out, back around to Ivan. You're the best, sweetheart. <laughs> well, Jeremy, happy just that the drinks are still flowing. <laughs> As you pointed out, he had 100 bottles of beer in the wall, down to about 90 now. Ivan folds his hand. Trying to steal my blind. Ran into something. Your blind's still gone. It's all good. Mission accomplished. That's right. Good job. <laughs> yeah, yapping it up, having a good time. So those are boomerang trips. Except for Keith. They leave and they come back with friends. He's gonna, uh, Keith's gonna get felted right now. Right now, he's gonna try to buy my blind. Next hand in play. Livia quickly folded. He's getting felted. <laughs> Saw you, Jeremy. Keith is getting felted. Look at this, Jeremy saying, Keith is getting felted. <laughs> getting personal here. And they're saying they're all going to fold around to the blind, and that's exactly what's happened. Yeah. And now Keith has picked up 10 4 spade. He's got the highway patrol hand in the small blind. Notice Jeremy has two eights in the big blind, but it's a stare down contest now. If you do it, you're going to get felted. <laughs> well, he's egging him on. This is a great New York talk here. I will send you home early. Well, so far. Can you cut the alcohol off, please? Keith hasn't made a right decision yet at this final table. <laughs> you know you got a quality hand. You just want to push your player I'm into a bad decision, and he makes it. Wow. He's all in, and he gets called right away. Uh, what a gross. Okay. Oh, I never realized how what a giant Jeremy is, too. Well, he's six the foot tennis four. Coming. The tennis is not coming. The tennis coming. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, look at this. Great talk. Gets a man to call to go all in with a, just a 10-4. coming. Getting the action he wants, but anything can happen on the World Poker Tour, and we will see the first three cards. Well, Keith Crowder, hoping to get lucky here. Let's see if it'll happen. Well, let's come four, four deuce, deuce. Four. Keith There's picks a up a piece of it, pair of fours. Four. Well, he needs a ten or a four to take the lead. Two running spades would give him a flush. No, ten's right on the turn. Keith staying optimistic. Will he be right? No. Five of clubs on the turn. No help to Keith. Well, we're down to the river card. Keith Crowder must catch time, a 10 or a 4 time, on the river. Right here. Put the 10 down there. Otherwise, he'll Put be our fifth place finisher. 10 or 4 is good. Ten his dream four. of becoming a champion all on the line four. with his card. Well, he said he thinks it's his time, but it's not. Jack of Diamonds on the river. That's going to do it for Keith Crowder, who finishes in fifth place. And Vince, 
Tonight, he was just marching with two left feet. That's all right. Here at the final <laughs> table on the World Poker Tour. Well, he was here when Daniel Negreanu won the Borgata Poker Open. Daniel, of course, a former WPT Player of the Year and the most successful tournament cash winner in history of poker. So, pretty good guy to look up to right there. But Yannick, very thrilled to be at this final himself tonight. All right, Andy's have gone up to 20,000. Blinds, 80 and 160. Back to table, a quick full by Ivan. And now Yannick with the button with just 8-5. What's he doing here? He's raising on the button, just like a lot of top pros would do. Makes it 400,000 to go. But the New Yorker, Jeremy, a quick call with Queen Jack right behind him. Olivier, the chip leader, goes out. Flop comes up 10, 8, 6. Yannick hitting his eights. Thank you. Inside straight draw for Jeremy Brown. But they both check. A little surprised Yannick would check second pair there, but he did so. Now an ace comes off. This gives Jeremy a two-way straight draw. King or nine would give him a straight. Jeremy checking again, though. And Yannick also checking with the eights. River card coming down. Oh, five comes off. This gives Yannick two pair. But Jeremy, with just a queen high, is going to try to steal this pot here with a bet, it looks like. Well, the hearts are out there, but the way he never made any moves there seems like a pretty mandatory call. You would think it's a $575,000 bet, though. Well, you could be beat here, Vince, as you say, but you are going to make the call with two pair, no doubt about it. Queen on. Two pair. He does so. And Jeremy gets caught with his hand in the cookie jar there. And yeah, the New York is walking there. Oh, boy. Better order another beer. <laughs> nice call by the Canadian. What are you raising with 5 8 for, huh? What do you call me with? I called you a lot better than that. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. One to one. What's that? One to one. That's all right. Let's sure. go back to this hand. Jeremy quickly folding. And Olivier on the button. He folds as well. I was suited. Now Ivan, now I was music. suited too. No, I'm not. <laughs> Jack nine in the small blind, but he's going to raise. Makes it 400,000 to go into Yannick. Cool. Yannick just has a 5 4, but he's got 160,000 out there in the big blind. He's going to make the call and see a flop, and he's flopped an open in straight as it comes deuce 3 3. Action to Ivan. He's going to make the continuation bet here, even though he just has Jack High. Half a million. Oh, boy, nicely done by the 23-year-old. Well, many come. players might come over the top with a straight draw here like this, but Yannick just going to make the call. Looking for an ace or a six to make a straight. A deuce comes off. Two pair on the board. On Ivan again. And does he have the heart to bet with nothing? Yes, he does. 850,000. Yannick's going to think this guy is Ivan the Terrible when he sees this guy continuing to bet with just a jack high. And that is just too much heat. Yannick has to go out. Nicely done. Yep, playing a little tune there on his man, Yannick. No doubt about it. Yeah, they use that move sparingly like hot Chinese mustard. Ivan does it. Stay tuned. We're coming back with more action on the World Poker Tour. I always hoped that I'd be on television playing poker. Now it's finally come true. I like to talk and have, have a good time out there. If you like to get wild and crazy and see an aggressive player, then it'll be fun to watch me. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. That is Jeremy Brown, who to me looks a little like Matt Dillon's giant cousin. Matt Dillon or Matt Damon? Matt Dillon. Kevin Dillon, oh, both wow. brothers. He actors. sounds like Matt Damon in Rounders, though. So Listen bad. to him talk. Okay. Well, welcome back to the World Poker Tour. Four-handed poker continues. And here's Jeremy Brown on a bit of a rush right now. This time he just has an 8-7. But he's interested. He's going to call it. Olivier folding. Ivan Mamusic with a 9-7 also calling. And Yannick with just a 5-4 content to see the flop. So we've got three-way action out of four players here. Flop comes ace, nine, three, all spades. Ivan hitting a pair of nines there, but no spade. He's first to act, and he looks like he's getting chips out. Yep, he's going to bet 325,000. Yannick with the wheel draw and the baby spade flush draw. He throws his hand away. But the New Yorker, Jeremy Brown, getting none of that and no spade. Absolute zip and pip. I raise it. He's taking his time. He says raise. Unbelievable. 
no hand and no draw, and he comes right over the top of Ivan here. His friend's loving it. Little do they know that he has horrible hand. A lot of guts here by Jeremy Brown. Makes it 9.75 to go. Well, he's not betting on the cards, Vince, that's for sure. The guy didn't raise before the flop. You don't put him on an ace. Maybe he'll throw a flush draw away if it's a smaller flush draw. Ivan in a quandary right now. Well, Jeremy, a Penn State grad, playing this hand like a lion, that's for sure. The former Nittany Lion taking down this pot with bold, aggressive play. What a nice move, picking up that pot. And he smiles. Well, you got to feel proud. That's beautifully done. Back the table, action on the Canadian. Yannick Broder, poker pro. He quickly folds his hand, but Jeremy picking up a big hand. 400. Ace king of clubs. Makes it 400,000 to go. Well, he's all smiles right now. Winning pots and picking up cards at the same time. Chip Lito Olivier with a queen jack. And look at this little tasty re-raise. Makes it 850. I have an out. And Jeremy just calls the re-raise. Most guys would just come right over the top with Ace King suited here, especially against the chip leader, but not Jeremy. Wants to see a flop. And what a flop Ooh. it is as it comes Ace King five. Oh, and Jeremy's shaking his head. He's shaking his head, but he's all grins. Shaking his head. Usually when you shake your head, you have a big hand. And that's exactly what he has. Bad tell there by Jeremy. What are you trying to do here, huh? Olivier is going to fire out the continuation bet here. Yep. 950,000. Didn't pick up on Jeremy's antics. Oh, look at Jeremy now, staring up at the sky, wondering what to do. Well, all he's wondering is, do I just call and continue to trap this guy, or do I come over the top of him right here? I call. He's just going to call. Big trouble here for the chip leader, Olivia, unless he hits a 10, but no, it's a deuce of clubs. Action on Olivier. Thirsty over here. Look at this Jeremy saying I'll take another drink. <laughs> Olivier, obviously not picking up on these kind of tails. He is gonna fire out over two million in chips here. I'm all in. And Jeremy going all in. Yeah. Well, here comes the baseball bat. That's when you do it. Well, Vince, I gotta tell you the truth. I know this guy's a great online poker pro, but I believe Olivier needs to work on his live tells a little bit. Yep. Because you and I felt it was pretty obvious that Jeremy had a hand there, but Olivier did not pick up on it. Here at the shore, Pokers, all four of these guys making their first WPT final table appearance. All four of them in their 20s. Youth will prevail once again on the World Poker Tour. Line still 80 and 160,000. Winner going to take home close to a million dollars here tonight. Action going to the New Yorker. He's an accountant out of New York, Jeremy Brown. Got a jack seven and he quickly folds. Surprising, right? And now Olivier Bousquet used to be the chip leader. When he's got king six this time, he's gonna move it up to 400,000, Mike. I have an out. Yannick Broder, hockey player all of his life, lives in Montreal, looks down at two snowmen. He's got the two eights. He has seen the former chip leader. I'm talking about Olivier spiral downward a little bit. So you wonder how he's gonna play these two eights against him. 1.3. Well, there's your answer. 1.3 million. But he's going to just push Olivier right out of this pot. So chalk that one up to great poker instincts by Yannick Broder from Canada right there. The hockey player putting one in the net there. Well, Olivier came to this final table as the big chip leader. One more Budweiser. Nothing seemingly going right for the online poker pro right now. So funny because early on he was the bully at the table. He was pushing everyone around. He stood up straight. Now look at him. He's a shell of himself. <laughs> she, she, she should know what I want, right? All right. This time it's up to him again. He's got an A6. Yeah. Then one of those marginal kind of hands, but you almost have to play him short-handed. He's going to raise it again, 400,000. Into Mr. Music who folds. And now the Canadian, Yannick, with a king eight, also folding. But Jeremy Brown with an ace nine is going to make the call. Well, here comes the flop. Well, let's come seven, seven, five with two clubs. I check to the better. Jeremy says, I'll check to the better. I check to the better. 
Now that's Olivier's girlfriend in the crowd. And Olivier, will he make the continuation bet? Well, you gotta give him credit. He's got heart. He's betting 475,000 with his ace high. Well, now Jeremy's got a tough problem as to what to do. He might think his ace high is the best hand, but besides calling this bet, you check it. can you stand the pressure of future bets? Well, Jeremy's going to check in the dark. In other words, he's checking before the card even comes out there. And Olivier sees that. Ooh. The king of clubs comes off, putting a possible flush out there. Want to rethink that. Now he's got the four flush, but it's too late. He's checked it already. And Olivier checking behind him. Well, you're fearful a little bit. Your opponent might have had a flush draw. Indeed, Jeremy's got the ace of clubs. He does have the nut flush draw now. A seven comes off, putting three sevens on the board. 600. Jeremy is going to fire out there now, 600,000. They both have exactly the same hand, three sevens with an ace king. And what Olivier is thinking about here, if a guy had a flush, would he bet when there's three sevens on the board? I don't think so. He would just check it down and hope it was good. So he's trying to figure out, did the guy have a full house all the time? Would he really bet sevens full of fives in this spot? Is my ace high any good right now? Vince, I think he may call him here with the ace high, and indeed he's doing it. I got ace high. This is going to be a split pot. Wow, great call. That's a nice call by Olivier right here, folks, I can tell you. He thought things out pretty good. Didn't think the guy would better flush. Jeremy staring down there. Wow. He's thinking, pretty good call by this guy. I love the call, dude. Yep, Jeremy giving him respect right there as he guzzles another beer. <laughs> split pot, and we move on. Michael. Action going to Olivier on this hand. <laughs> Let's see what he's got. Well, it looks like a queen jack. Cool. Yeah, Olivier seemingly playing every <laughs> pot now and getting some hands to play him with. <laughs> then the music behind him with the button with a king nine. And he's going to push it up a bit. Well, he's going to raise it, makes it 525,000 to go. Yannick looks down at an ace four offsuit. First guy limped in. The next guy raised it. This kind of hand most players would just muck immediately here. You just hate to play an ace in a baby card when two players are in the pot in front of you and it's been raised. Girlfriend Claudia rooting her man on. Two million. And look wow. at this. He's going to make it two million. Gee. Jeremy out. Olivier also out. What a bet by Yannick Broder right here. Well, Ivan's just posing for the cameras. He's not playing either, Vince. I can promise you with a King-9 offsuit. He knows his opponent's about pot committed, so if he would raise it, he'd get called. And you just don't want to get your money in there with a the King-9 in this spot. You have to give Yannick a lot of credit for making this raise. Unbelievable. Ivan does go out. Yannick does win the pot. And right there, the former hockey player just since a couple guys were sneaking across the blue line or something, and he whacked him with a stick. The bluffs are happening in Atlantic City. Stay with us. We're coming back with more action on the $2 million. First place prize here tonight, $925,000. Second place, $453,000. And right now, our chip leader is the accountant out of New York, Jeremy Brown. He has $12.2 in chips. Yeah, the graduate from Penn State out in front right now and feeling good. To the table we go. Action on the Canadian. Ivan Mamusic looks down at an A7 of clubs. Pretty attractive hand in a four-handed poker game, and he's going to raise it. Makes it 400000 to go. Let's fold it around to Olivier Bousquet, who looks down at two fives in the big blind. He's been playing very aggressive at this final table. Played a lot of hands, but takes a conservative mode here by just calling. Doesn't re-raise with the two fives. Here comes a flop. A flop is 9-6-3 with two hearts. Olivier still out in front with the two fives. Check. And he checks. Yep. I've been also checking. Nothing hitting on that flop. Here goes the turn card. Well, a seven comes off. Ivan has made the best hand now with two sevens. Olivier, however, has a two-way straight draw. A four or an eight would make him a straight. And he's going to bet on the come. It looks like 525,000 with no real hand at this moment. Well, Ivan's going to call him with the two sevens. Yeah, big pot brewing here. 
down to the river. Who's going to get lucky? Oh, look at this, a five, three of a kind there. Unbelievable. Olivier has outplucked him, as we say, on the river here. He's now out in front, but there is a possible flush and a possible straight out there. So do you want to bet trips here? A lot of danger everywhere with these five exposed cards. But Olivier looks like he's getting the guts up, putting the chips out. It's 1.150 in chips. Really? Well, he's bet about half the size of the pot here. And Ivan now trying to figure this out. Would the guy really bet on the come with a straight draw? If he just had a four or an eight in his hand? Good call. Whoa. He's going to make the call with the two sevens. That's good. And Olivier's three fives are going to win this pot. And Vance, maybe that'll get him back on the right track here. A great value bet on the river there. A dangerous bet, in my view, but one that paid off for Olivier there. Real nice bet. There. Ivan, the music, paying that off. Oh, boy. Like he just broke a guitar string on that one. <laughs> All right. Back to the felt we go. Action on our chip leader, Jeremy Brown. 400. And he's got a nice hand. Ace queen, making a 400,000 quickly. Olivier out. Ivan also out. And around to the big blind here. Oh, and look at this. Yannick Brodeur has picked up ace king. He's got big slick in the big blind. Great. Oh, pippity doodah. You love ace king when another guy has ace queen. And of course, Yannick says raise. Yannick sitting in third chip position at the moment. I'm all in. Call. Oh, wow, all in and called. Jeremy knows he made a mistake when he got called that quick. And this is amazing, Vince. Yannick Broder will take the chip lead if he wins this pot. Damn. He's got way the best hand. Ace King against Ace Queen. Maybe he got it. For a guy playing in his first ever WPT tournament, he could be the chip leader with four players left if the Ace King holds up. Throw a queen out there one time. Jeremy begging for a queen. queen. Can he get it on the flop? Nope. Well, flop comes 986. Queen, please. 10 jack. Jeremy's going to need a queen to win the pot. A 10 jack ten would jack, do it for him as well. Or... He's looking for a lucky safe. lady. Oh, and he hits it on the turn. Look at that. Queen comes right off on the turn. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, the blue boy celebrating with him. Well, it's not over. Yannick can catch a king on the river and win the pot. But Vince, I got to tell you. He took that turn card about as good as anybody I've ever seen when you're playing for a million dollars. Hardly flinched when it came off of there. Yannick needs a miracle, but does not get it. Yes, yes. Well, there's tough luck for the Canadian right there. Knocked out in fourth place on a bad beat. Yes. Oh, yeah, Yannick completely stunned here. Just like that, Yannick out. He's going to pick up 216,000. What a gentleman walking away with a lot of class.